This is pretty sick. I just built this image editor called Image AI Max with no code using AI agents. Yes, I just gave it the idea and five agents, Mike, Emma, Bob, Alex, and David went to work seamlessly to create something that looks like this. Look at this. This has effects, it has text, it also has AI functionality to enhance any photo. This was all done with no code using a tool called MGX. Number one product of the week on Product Hunt. You guys have to watch this. On the end of this video, you're gonna be able to use AI agents working together, all five of them, to build whatever the hell you wanna build. If you watch this video to the end, I guarantee you, you'll be able to build not only an image editor, but any type of application, business, game that you want using these tools. Let's jump right into it. The first things first is always our prompt. I'm gonna give this a specific prompt for image generation. I want to create an image generation an image editor AI called Image AI Max. I want to have the ability to upload images and then I want to be able to edit them using different functions and features like many other popular image editors have. Color, saturation, shadows, anything else you recommend. I want to create a modern sleek looking website with all the features. This is going to be our version one. Version two, I want to add the ability to generate images using an API for an image generator, which I'll provide later. All right, guys, there's our prompt. Pretty straightforward. We're going to be using Sonnet Cloud 3.7. You could see inside MGX, there's a bunch of different ones. You have DeepSeek for chat. There is uh, 4.0. There's Cloud uh, V2. And then there's also for advanced chat, you can use 4.0. The coding is done by Sonnet 3.7. And let's get this party started. All right, so now it's gonna to get to work. Here is the biggest difference between MGX and the rest. Number one, as you look up here, you have a team of five AI agents. Mike, the team leader, he's gonna be the one that's going to delegate all of the tasks associated with building this product. It's kind of fun to play with this tool just for this piece alone, is you really start understanding how coding works in a real environment. But if you don't have previous experience, like myself before I got into no code, I kind of understood from a project manager, which is Emma, how to take projects, how to manage projects. But it's gonna do this broken down piece by piece. Mike is a team lead, he's gonna hand it over to Emma. Now Emma is breaking down the different things that are needed to get, get, gonna get built. And then you have Bob, who's the architect. Then you have Alex, who's the engineer. And then lastly, David, who's the data analyst. Each one of them have different jobs. So it's a pretty powerful tool because the more complex you get, a lot of these no-code tools break. In this case, each person, each AI agent is gonna have its own job, its own duty to get the product moving in the right direction. So enough about that, but you guys can see MGX has Git integration, Superbase, all the great new tools that are needed to make a full stack application. I'm just gonna wait for this thing to break it down. But as you can see here, the first thing this is gonna do before it starts writing a word or a line of code is it's gonna break this project down piece by piece. So check this out. Top professional grade options, Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, Affinity Photo, Capture One Pro, Adobe Photoshop Elements, Canva, Visma. So it's actually doing research what tools and what features the different products have, the pricing. I mean, it's really thinking like a full team that you now have to your disposal. As you can see here, project one for Emma is creating a product requirement document. It's called a PRD for Image AI Max, an image editor website. The PRD should detail the following things image upload functionality, image editor. So it's going to break this down. Most other tools you use, we've done it. You punch it in, it just starts coding, right? It's gonna just go to its best known code for a specific thing. But this is a completely different approach. I'll admit much slower, but for the right reasons. This thing will start building projects. You're gonna learn more about coding, I think, from a global perspective, like a macro view, how it works. Once Emma is done, it's gonna ask me, hey, are you good with this plan? Then we're gonna say yes. Then the architect is gonna start putting it all together. And then the engineer is gonna start coding everything. You're gonna watch it, it's pretty fun to watch. If you guys haven't watched my videos before, my name is Marcin AI. I am a no-code AI dev, and I run an amazing community called the No-Code AI Army. If you guys wanna join a community with developers, builders, creators, look at this, people making memes. We have a fantastic crew. It's all free, click below. Also check out MGX below. I have all the links for you guys to check it out. The team has been hard at work. Let's take a look what they created. So Mike finished, Emma finished, Bob put the whole architecture down, and then Alex made our first 
Wow, image AI, AI powered photo image editor. We can't really see because it's white background. I just actually said, make the background black. We could actually see this. But here's the cool part when you're doing these kind of fixes. Look, I said, make the background black. And he said, I'll make sure to pass along your request to Alex to implement the work and make sure that it's black. Let me communicate this to him. You can see how this is all being sent to the specific agents, the bots working for you. <laughs> but let's go back to our build. Holy crap, look at this. We got adjust, we got effects, we got text, and we got AI. We haven't obviously done anything when it comes to AI. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Perfect. This is pretty sick. There's no way that this works, right? Hold on, let's upload an image. Oh, how cute. Picture of me and my wife. Let's see. This would be pretty dope if this worked on the first try. Look at all the settings, the brightness. Oh, it does work. No way. This is great. All the filters actually work. Saturation, temp. Let's warm this baby up a little bit. Make it a little vintage looking. I like it. Oh, and then there's also filter presets. Vibrant, vintage, noir, soft glow. Well, there you have it, guys. This is one shot Johnny right here. This is fantastic. We got export options. Let's check JPEG. Let's see if this will actually export. It did. Let me see the size of this image. 261 and the resolution, the original resolution. There's the magic of the agents. They did this in one shot. Oh, wow. It has all these effects already. This is pretty wild. Hold on. Let's reset this. I need a reset button, actually. Let's, okay, let's upload another image. I'm getting a little excited, as you guys could see, because I just literally created a full functioning image editor in 14 minutes with one prompt. Here is our image editor. Let me zoom out a little bit. We got effects. We got grain, vintage, what's the fade? Oh, it fades the image. And then we got a little blur, which we don't want. We can export images in the three different formats. And then we got text. Let's try the text. This is a wedding day. This is me and my beautiful wife, the wifey. Let's do a hundred. Can you actually change that in here? No, so that's the one thing we'll obviously do. And we'll continue working on this, but you could see the font style, what type of font. We need to fix this. There's a lot of stuff to fix, but this is a one take. I'm very impressed. All the agents did different tasks. Now let's actually just give it one more task. One thing I want to do is I want to have, what should we add? The AI elements, auto enhance image, fix image issues. There's already stuff that's connected in here. I'm kind of blown away by it. Sorry guys, this is one take and this was kind of pre-planned, but this is definitely more than I expected it to do. What about the size? We even have shadow, drag and drop. Let's, let's see if we can add that functionality. I want to be able to move the text component inside the editor, scale it and move it around and rotate the actual text that I add to an image. Let's see what it can do. This is definitely complex. It's gonna have to do quite a lot of things, but I'm actually curious to see what it's able to do here. Look at that. So it's going to take the React draggable similar libraries to implement the draggable functionality. So it's going to look through libraries of other products that have this, and it's going to find it, and then it's going to allow us and add it. That's what we want. I've never just sat back and watched agents work for me like this. It is a trip, actually, how this is all going so far, because I've had very little interaction. I had two small errors, but I just didn't want to bore you with those, and I just said continue and fix them. But outside of that, the agents have just been talking to each other. This is definitely a whole different approach to no code because I do feel like with the amount of detail that these different agents created, if you look at the plan, just the PRD is pretty insane. This would normally take me probably 20 to 30 minutes in chat GPT or something else to construct, even if I knew what I was doing, but it was able to do that and then it also pulled in the whole directory, the tree, all the functionality, and then it just got to work. And then it just told the other agents to start building. And then same with Bob. Bob created the whole architecture for this. And then Alex actually did all the coding. Pretty elaborate. I do like how it works. And next, let's check out the mobile. So mobile needs to be fixed. That's easy though. But it definitely works. We can push this to Git. We can also get this up on Superbase so we can have saving. I am not able to grab the text on the image and do anything with it. This is good. This is actually good because everything's been so easy up to this point that I feel like we definitely need to have a little more trouble building this. 
Let's see how it handles this issue. The user was unable to grab and manipulate the text on the image. So it's going to go through again, talk to Alex, like these agents that they're just communicating with each other. Maybe I want to be able to rename them. Can I rename them? <laughs> it's like having a little army work for you. So this was the normal environment would look like if you guys aren't familiar with when you actually build out a full product, these are the types of people you have in a environment at an office. You have your team leader for the project. You have your project manager that communicates with all the teams. Then you have your architect who says, this is how we're going to structure this project. And then you have your engineers going to go in and actually do the hard coding. So he's the nerd on the computer. And then you have one other person, which is David in this case, which is data and analyst. So if you're like, Hey, I want you to go research this industry and I want you to tell me what is the opportunity. So he's going to go in and crunch data that that's going to go back to your team leader, giving it to the project manager. Then the project manager is going to disperse it to whatever the appropriate people are in the environment. But the fact that I was able to do this in such a short amount of time with so little interaction for me makes it too easy. What are we going to build next? That was the big question. You guys could check all the links below. Definitely join our community. Definitely check out MGX if you guys want to try it yourself and see what you can build. And then please paste your links and comments below so we could check out what kind of stuff you're building. One thing also, when I type in here, you don't see anything. So let's give that a quick thing. Let's try this feature to make sure that it has that in there. So I want to say, make sure that when I type in text into the fields, it's in black text so I can see it on screen. Then I want to actually upload an image so you guys could see that you could actually upload reference images into the chat bot. And I was going to fix that. Here we go. The final pass. So now we've added the text function. Let's take a look. See if it's all there. Oh, look at that. We got the image. We got brightness. You see all the filters. We got effects, a little grain, a little vintage. And then let's add text to it. We got text here. Let's go wedding day. Add text. Wedding day. 2024. And there we have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We built Image AI Max, an AI powered image generator editor with all of the features. You literally have adjustments, you have effects, you have text function, and you have AI, which will auto enhance your images. Insane. Definitely give this MGX a try and see how you could utilize the five different AI agents to build your product, whatever that might end up being. So definitely let me know in the comment below what you guys are building. Links for MGX are below and always our community is there for you. If you guys want to come and join and build with us, I'll see you guys in the next video.